One to the single side, he hands it off. Off the right tackle and a touchdown now for the Vaqueros. So the Vaqueros get a touchdown on a running play. And now they lead six to nothing in this Grossmont Valley game. And a Division Three team puts the extra point through and he leads seven to nothing. And those are always dangerous, you throw it over. In no man's land, and there is a good one. He finds his wide out, and he breaks it. And he's brought down all the way to about the one yard line. The Vicaros be able to get their second touchdown of the game. And initial play looks like he was stopped at the goal line. A huge play for the Sultans of Santana High School. Cruz, quick pass. Nearly picked off, and it is. And I don't see any laundry out on the field, and so it is going now, I see some. And this is after, at the end of the play. Last play of the quarter. Ball at the 36, Kegel up in the air. He throws for a touchdown. Pass is complete for a touchdown. And try for the extra point. And it is good. We go into the second quarter. It is 14 for the Vaqueros of El Capitan out in Lakeside. Second down as that play went for not. Second down to 10. And they got a big play here. They might have a score. He's at the 10 to 5. Touchdown. And the Sultans are on the board. Snap down, kick is up, high enough, long enough, and it's good. 14 to seven now here in Santee. Gagel fakes like he was gonna pass it, and he gets his running back to run it out of 35 to 30, the 25 to 20. He's all the way down inside the 20 to 15. Inside of 15, all the way down to about the 10 yard line. El Capitan, it snap down, kick is up. Long enough, and it is accurate enough. Good, so 21 to seven. But remember, the Sultans have stopped them at the one yard line, or it would be a three touchdown lead at this point. It's batted away at the line of scrimmage. As Kegel trying to throw one out to his left. Leading Santana High School. Trips out to the near side, they're gonna run the football, and they're gonna get into the end zone. Smith, the ball carrier, 27 to seven. Browning as it all lined up. Snap down, kick is up, high enough, and it is good. 28 to seven now for the Sultans. And a fumble, and they may have gave it back up. Maybe getting it back was Cruz. He's running back. It looks like they're going to retain the football, but they're going to lose some yards on it. We got trips off to the right. Single wide out to the near side and a good running play. It's going to net a lot of yards across the 30 to the 35 to the 37 before brought down is Smith. Santee, a new set of downs now after that completed pass play. 28 to seven for the Sultans. And Cruz, he's in the shotgun, and he finds his wide out, and he is rocked down. He's hit hard, was Browning. 12 minutes of football, left to play. And got to make up three touchdowns and three extra points due to the Sultans. And the Sultan there and the cheerleaders, always keeping everybody interested in the game and showing their cheerleading skills. Great cheerleaders in Southern California. And a lot of them here in San Diego County as well. Kegel, the quarterback. 
And his team trying to win their fourth game of the season. He's going to be swarmed under. And so the Sultans are going to get possession of this football again. And they're going to get it with a blocked punt and a chance to score. It's down at the one yard line of Steel Live. And let's see who has it. No indication yet. But nevertheless, the Sultans are going to have the football. And they're going to have it at the one-yard line. And this is the second game in a row where they have blocked a punt against the Braves of El Cajon Valley. They did that last week, and they scored a touchdown with it. Of course, they were closer to the end zone to score a touchdown on that block punt. And now here they go in the second week in a row with an opportunity to put one in the end zone. Single wide out to the right and the left. It's going to be a running play, and it looks like they're going to be in the end zone. And they are, and it's a touchdown for the Sultans. And here they're down by two touchdowns instead of three as they score one here in the fourth quarter. English, the snap's down, it's a high snap, but the kick is long enough and it's good. Dylan English, and it is now 28 to 14 with 9.30 left to play. On third down, Cagle with trips out to the left. He throws one of them and it goes right through his hands. Right through his hands, and so now it's gonna be fourth down. And it's a fake, and a fake is not going to go. They're able to read it that time. The Sultan's able to sniff out the fake. Will be the result. Cruz might have had somebody leave too soon, but they didn't catch it. They throw, and it goes over to one of his wide receivers. He's going to get out of the field. He's clear. He's going to score for a touchdown. And now they're only down by a touchdown. The snap is down, the kick is up, it's high enough, it's long enough, it is accurate enough, and good, 28 to 21. Back to pass is Cagle. Delayed handoff, and it's a good one. They might have a first down and more, they do. He's at the 30, inside the 25, and he still has a football wrestled down by a host of Sultans, but not before he gets down to the 23-yard line at a near bounce. Motion man going to short side of the field, but they have a touchdown straight up the middle, 34 to 21. They find a way to get the all-important touchdown that gives them the big lead here of 14 points with just 241 left to play in the game. Very quickly score a touchdown and then try and do an onside kick to try to score another one. And a miscue and they're gonna give it back it looks. I'm Greg G.K. Porter, along with Jim Costa, bringing you the sights and sounds for Langevin Productions. Check us out the next time around for high school football right here on this site. So take care of yourself, as always. God bless and We'll see you next time. Bye now from Santana High School.